What's up, guys, man? This is Tim from Test Demi Live and Direct here today checking in from Houston, Texas. And we're here today to start a new movement, like we mentioned on our YouTube videos, to get 10,000 manual testers to automated automation testing. Or perhaps if you're a developer and you want to get started in uh, automation testing or testing as a whole, you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. Come on. So what today video, today's video, part one of this series of uh, test automation for beginning is going to entail, we're going to go through installing some of the actual tools and software that you need uh, to get started uh, with test automation. So we're going to jump right into it here. All right. So here's what we're looking at here. Um, when you're talking about test automation uh, as a whole, it's a very broad topic. Uh, but what we've decided to do is to kind of narrow it down to two actual technologies that I feel will kind of help you get ahead when it comes to getting started in test automation. And two of those technologies are one for as far as the programming language is concerned, it's Python. If you haven't seen my video I made on uh, how to get started in test automation, uh, I highly recommend you check it out on my YouTube video, which is Test Demi, because it talks about how programming is actually the foundation of automation. So when you get a good hold, uh, a good understanding of the Python or any other programming languages, uh, in, in this case, uh, really object-oriented programming language, and when you kind of get the hang of it, I mean, you're going to be good, right? So we're going to focus on using Python as the programming language in conjunction with the actual automation tool or a uh, uh, library in this case which is going to be selenium web driver why is that key i was just thinking about this today right the reason i believe selenium web driver is a pertinent uh cornerstone to your tool set as you know you go on this journey of test automation is because a lot of applications today and companies are moving towards agile and not only at the agile methodology but they're actually moving towards web applications and web-based technology so selenium is used to uh, automate web browsers so the more you understand about selenium and some kind of language binding in this case which is python to actually drive that technology to automate web pages you're going to be surely in a high demand so these video series are free uh, as far as test automation for beginners using Selenium and Python. So I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. All right, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Be sure to subscribe, but we're going to get started here. All right, so first step, let's jump right into it. All right, what we're going to do here, first things first, is what I want you to do is bring up your uh, web page URL, any web page URL uh, that you might have here. In this case, we have Chrome, and simply just type in Python, Python download, okay? Actually, I'm not typing right. Uh, so just type in Python download. All right. All right. And the first web link you see, just click on it. it takes you right there. As you can see, we have Python 362. There's also Python 2.7. Uh, but what I recommend you to do is this journey we're going to be on, I want you to rec go ahead and download Python 362. Now, uh, part of our goal here, just keep in mind, we're going to start off with understanding the foundations of Python. And once you get that down, what we're going to do is we're then going to jump into Selenium. So the first few of these videos are going to be focused on Python to make sure you get a good foundation. Because like I mentioned, Python is the foundation, not Python, pardon me, the programming is the foundation of automation testing, okay? All right, so I have my download here. I'm going to begin my download. And what I want you to keep in mind, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you're going through this down download process, the most important aspect of this to me uh, for you is making sure you click where it says add Python 360 to your path. So you're going to add it to your path environment variables if you're using Windows. Again, this is for Windows. If you're on Unix or Mac, there are a lot of other tutorials out there to help you through the installation process. If I can get some documentation, I'm going to help you guys out. But for right now, we're just going to do it for Windows. But then again, follow along. Just download it from Mac or for Unix, it's not that difficult, and just follow the same process. All right, so what we want to do is, actually, I'm going to escape out of this, pardon me. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and download uh, Python for, uh, let's scroll down here. What we want to do is we want Python, as you can see, if you're a Mac, you can download it from Mac. We want the 64-bit uh, uh, version, right? So if you want 32-bit, uh, you can go ahead and download 32-bit. That's what it's going to download for me. Um, but in this case, we're just going to do... Uh, the uh, window web-based installer again you can see here it's the 64-bit okay because uh, I'm on a 64-bit system here same process click on it it's gonna bring it up bring it up here 
uh, you can see now it says 64 bit okay uh, what you want to do do not forget to click where it says add Python 36 to uh, the path okay so now you can do install and it's going to go through the process I'm going to give myself the okay and it's going to take less than a few moments all right so we'll be back here in a few moments okay welcome back guys we're back our installation is successful I'm pumped so what we're going to do now is we're just going to make sure uh, and verify that Python was successfully installed as you can see it says setup was successful but how, how do we check right all right so let's uh, close our browser close this out here and I want you to do this for me. I don't know what system you're on, but if you're on Windows, I'm on Windows 10, or what version of the operating system you're on. I want you to type in command, go to your command prompt. I'm gonna open up mine here, expand it. And if you did this correctly, uh, you should, all you have to do is type Python in a path. And there you go, you see? And now you can see this, these three greater than symbols and the uh, the command prompt, uh, this uh, prompt blink in here, and to verify you're in Python, you can see it says you're in Python 3.6.2, and it shows all the details of the Python actual installation. And just to verify, you can just do 2 plus 1, and it shows 3. So this is what's called the Python uh, idle, right? It's the interactive version of the Python system, right, that runs on the uh, command prompt here. Uh, in other words, it's like you're having a conversation with a friend, right? You say, okay, friend, what is 4 plus 4? Or four plus one, sorry, it says five, all right, to interaction. So we can also write your first Python uh, script. You can do print, and since we're in Python 3, you know, you want to uh, put in the print function and command. We're going to talk about this later, but just type along with me. Uh, you can type in hello. Uh, this is actually a string, hello world, and hit enter, and it's going to print hello world, okay? Hello world, okay? Uh, you can also set a variable. So I can say x uh, equals to, uh, let's see, test demi, put that in a string. And type in test demi, uh, test demi .com. All right, and click enter, hit X, and it's going to return our actual variable that's stored in the test demi uh, variable. So, just wanted to do that real quick as our first path. What we're going to do is the next tool set I want you to install on this uh, first video here it's what's called the IDE, which is the integration integrated development environment. Okay, so we can close this back out, and what I want you to do is go back. Uh, to Windows here and go back to Google and what I want you to do is uh, type in PyCharm okay and this is going to be a quick download go to uh, download just follow along uh, we're just getting our tool set up as a as a, a test automation engineer and I want you to go to the community version which is free there's community version there's professional version just click uh, close this out here just click where it says download and it's going to begin uh, the actual download process here. Uh, so it's going to continue. You can see right here on the left lower hand corner saying Python community is downloading PyCharm. And we're going to be back in a few moments to wrap up this uh, part one of the installation and tools needed to get you started in test automation. See you in a moment. Peace. Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back here. So now that we have our PyCharm successfully installed on our system, all you have to do here is just go through the regular um installation process with this IDE again an IDE is an integrated development environment we're gonna uh, be talking about that in, in the future videos but I want you to keep in mind as you go through this series of learn how to be a test automation engineer from scratch you're gonna I want you to have the mindset of being a test uh, automation developer because we're gonna use a lot of development tools in order to build out our test automation frameworks and get started okay so click next uh, pay attention to the path uh, or destination folders where it's installed. I just like to copy mine just for future reference and just begin the you know process. Click next. Uh, actually, let me go back there. Uh, so you definitely want the 64-bit. Uh, the associations you can click it. Uh, the create association for PY. That's fine. Uh, and let's uh, just do next. But make sure you do 64-bit launcher, okay? And click next here and go ahead and. Uh, hit install again the company that uh, develops this is an open source tool again it's free it's uh, JetBrains okay click install then I'll see you back in a few moments welcome back guys we're back so all we have to do now is click run and click finish and what it's going to do it should be bringing up uh, PyCharm but what you want what you can also do in the, uh, in the meantime uh, here you can see complete installation uh, pardon me here uh, what you want to do here is 
You know, what's going on with my mouse? <laughs> uh, you can see PyCharm has been installed here. Uh, you can just double click it and get started. But what we're going to do in the next video, we're actually going to walk through how to actually set up and configure PyCharm uh, with your new uh, Python installation. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe testdemi.com here on YouTube or check out our page testdemi.com. I have some free tutorials to get you started in quality assurance, software testing, and test automation. See you soon. Peace!